G'day and welcome back to the Geek Teacher. Today we're going to look at organising our drive a little bit better. Uh, we're going to be organising it uh, by our classes and creating folders that are automatically shared with the kids using a funky little script called G Class Folders. Now this is a script that runs in Google Drive. It's been created by these guys, Bjorn Brandt and Andrew Stillman, uh, who I think are actually pretty ninja at Google Apps. Um, they've co constructed a, a uh, script that will automatically create for you assignment folders for every kid in your class and if you have two of the same type uh, you can actually differentiate between those so here in this demo picture we've got um, some kids in a period one English 9 and some kids in a period 2 English 9 so it creates assignment folders for you and also an edit and view folder now I'm going to explain these before we move on so that you've got an idea about why we do it. Um, Google Drive can get really fun when kids start sharing lots of stuff between themselves and with you and items can get lost pretty quickly. However, if you use G Class folders, what it will do is every kid will end up with a uh, link to this English 9 edit folder and this English 9 view folder and also have created in each one of their drives an assignment folder. So let's talk about what these different types of folders do. This English 9 folder is uh, the view one. It does what it says. You put things in there that you want your English class to be able to see, but you don't want them to be able to edit. So you don't want them to be able to change it, but you want them to be able to see it. So I use this kind of thing for my criteria sheets and so forth, so the kids can see the criteria, but they can't actually change it. Um, up here, the edit folder it does what it says as well. You put items in here that you want the kids to be able to edit. So, for example, you might have a worksheet that you want the kids to collaborate on. Put it in here, and they can. Um, the assignment folders. The, this is a teacher view uh, that you're seeing here. So, you as a teacher will have a folder called assignment folders. And under the assignment folders, it will create for every student um, a folder called the student's name, the class, and assignment folder. Now for the kids, what they will see is that they'll see their name, English 9, and assignment folder, but they'll only see their own. So the script is pretty smart. It create, constructs a folder for each kid, and it's shared just between them and you. So your student and you are the only ones that can see each individual um, assignment folder, but of course you can see them all. Now the power of that comes when uh, if you have an entire class submitting an assignment on one day and you have a cutoff time, you can actually download the whole lot as a zip file simply by right clicking on the uh, on the class and going download and it will construct a zip file for you and you can download that and it keeps them all nice and neat in there. So it does it pretty simply and it does it pretty smartly and uh, I've been using it extensively with my classes. So G class folders, how do we actually do it? Because obviously you're going to, it is awesome, so you want to. Um, well, constructing is pretty simple. There are a couple of ways. Um, these guys have uh, constructed a site for G class folders. You can just Google for G class folders, or you can come to this address, sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash G class folders. Um, that will get you this site. And there are two ways. The first way is to simply click on this page, and it will bring up a spreadsheet, which uh, you can then edit and so forth after you go file, make a copy. So it's already got all these um, headers put in together, which is great. Um, and then you follow the rest of the steps that way. Otherwise, you can install via the script gallery as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it via the script gallery so you don't have to remember that this keeps coming back here, but also because I want to show you some scripts. So go to your Google Drive, and uh, what we're going to do is click on Create and then create a spreadsheet. Now we're going to start with a blank spreadsheet and you'll go, hang on, that other one had all this other stuff in it. That is okay, uh, because we're going to construct it from scratch. Now click on this untitled spreadsheet and we're going to call it something like G Class Folders Teacher Thing, I don't know, whatever you like. Okay, so that's saved and uh, we've still got a blank spreadsheet. Now what we're going to do is come to Tools, we're going to Script Gallery so you'll find in here that there are hundreds if not thousands of scripts that are available for you to use. So all through here, education, there's featured calendar schedules, all these sorts of things. So just have a look at all the stuff that's available. Now obviously you're not going to want to use all of it. There is oodles and oodles. But remember that you can just uh, type in G class folders and then click on 
this is the one that you want click on install and away you go okay and once you've clicked on install it'll come up with authorization required uh, Google won't let apps just do their own thing you actually have to tell it that it's okay so click on authorize you get this wonderful window pop up that asks if it can do all these wonderful things to you and you say accept most of it, it's 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 safe um, it can't really take all that much from you and besides it's necessary if you're going to do it now we come back to the spreadsheet and you go hang on it still looks exactly the same as it did before but there is one minor difference which is actually pretty major up here next to help you'll find a new uh, menu item called G class folders and when we click on that we can see this wonderful thing click on what is G class folders it runs a script and pops up a new window right now which will tell us what G class folders is all about and you feel free to read through that it's wonderful there are links to more wonderful stuff up here um, but what we're interested in is this initial settings so we click on initial settings G class folders initial settings and we get this uh, wonderful screen here I'm saying wonderful a lot aren't I I really love G class folders and I hope you will too but uh, we get this screen here and it says choose your preferred interface language we choose English at my school because we're English and then I normally just stay exactly the same as uh, the defaults if you want to change it maybe it's not an assignment maybe they're projects that you work on it's up to you but I stick with assignment um, class I just call it class and classes and period now the difference between school teacher mode and school mode school single teacher mode is meant for one teacher who's running this so you manage your own class um, and then uh, you can modify manage it uh, modify it and so forth it is actually simpler for managing and archiving your work for you but if a kid is, if you're wanting to track your kids then you use school mode now you can only run this once for an organization so it's meant to be run from a role account or a domain account dedicated to managing and archiving all student coursework so that would be your main uh, Google Apps administrator who would run that if you're wanting to run this as a whole um, then you can do school mode once you've generated these though so make the it does say choose carefully once uh, student folders have been generated it's not possible to switch modes <sighs> you know I, I go with single teacher mode I find it easier I get the work that I want from my kids as I want it and plus we're going to be working this in with our Moodle eventually anyway so uh, single teacher mode uh, click on save that's the one you're going to be wanting and it will work in the background and now it looks exactly like the last one so to get this to work we actually need to give it some data so I'm going to type Bob James B James at my place dot com or whatever I'm just giving you a sample here the class name I'll call it 9 ICT no period now you do have to give your email address because otherwise it won't be able to share it with you um, so do that right and then you can uh, do as many of those as you want here's a quick clue by the way if you're going to use these over and over and over again right just uh, click across and then fill down and it will fill those down for all the ones that you want um, there's my hint for you right once you've got all that done uh, you come up to G class folders and you can then create new folders and shares or perform bulk operations and selected students so um, you can sort it so you can make sure that you've got everybody in there you can create new folders and shares now when you click on that it will take whatever data is in here and actually construct the folders in their folder and in yours so only do that when you're ready perform bulk operations on selected students if you have made a mistake or so forth removing it from the selected one will actually remove the student from the list so it'll delete their folders for you be aware that if you delete the folders and they've put stuff in it it will disappear as well um, but uh, it'll also allow you add new ones and so forth if you click on that after or click on this even sorry after you've added new students it will only add the students who are new it won't rewrite all the others so your kids stuff is all their files and so forth are safe right so here's one I've done before this is one for my actual classes I'm going to uh, you hopefully won't be able to see any of that and hopefully it's all blurred but what I am wanting you to see is that after I run it so I click that and then create a new folders um, and perform bulk operations and so forth it actually goes through and constructs 
these ones over here. So it creates shared folders. These are links to the actual shared folders for each one of those kids, uh, each one of those students and each one of the um, classes. You'll notice it it has said that uh, what what it's actually creating. So here's the folders created for 10 ICT, all the teacher scroll down. There we go. So it's actually created all of those folders. And this is how it tracks whether or not you've actually um, whether or not it's actually constructed it. So if I was to delete somebody from here who was no longer in my class, um, I think I've done it already. So if I was to delete somebody from in here who was already in my class and then I run this again, it will actually remove all their folders for me. If I add a new one, a new 12 English 3 for example, it will construct that for me as well because of this. It knows that it hasn't done it already. Now, a word of warning to you, because of that, don't touch these, okay? Because of that, don't touch the actual data in here. If you've made a mistake with where you've put the student, then change this bit, but don't change this bit, okay? Um, if, you, if you touch this stuff over here, it will actually go and make your life just a little bit more difficult. Now, also, of course, there are a whole heap of other options back at their, um, their website, um, so, and that's it. Um, under the README, it tells you a whole heap of stuff what not to do. Um, here you go, here's some properties. It's telling it where to get it from. Don't touch those either, okay? Just these bits. Don't touch the headers. Look at that, don't change the name of this header. Just change the data that's in here. So if you're wanting more help, pop on over to G Class Folders. Uh, their website again is uh, sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash G Class Folders, just like that. Um, there's screenshots, there's frequently asked questions, there's standalone resources, I think there's a printout of how to do it. And these guys have made a whole heap of other stuff as well. So if you go to UPD or edlisten.com, you'll find other um, scripts as well. It is worth mentioning that Google Scripts are a, one, a fantastic way of expanding and extending your documents. You can get really great stuff to happen in there. Um, G Class Folders is simply the first one that I'm introducing you to, but there are lots and lots and lots. In fact, later on down the track, I'll show you how I used Autocrat to create a um, self-mail um, merging um, form, so that, that registration form, so that as people registered for an event, it uh, emailed them back with what they'd had, what they'd registered in a merged document that gave them the program. So uh, I'll show you that in a tick. But for today, that's G Class folders. So again, go to uh, this website, sites.google.com forward slash G class folders if you want, or you can construct it from scratch like I've done here and then just create new folders and shares. So you've been watching the Geek Teacher. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something fresh and new and uh, use this to help you explore new wonders of scripts.